Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Dinosaurs video. Today we've got a private beta because we'd like I'm doing a load of testing on it for James AIB. This is the Fossils and Archaeology Origins mod. Not to not to be confused with the uh, Fossil and Archaeology uh, Revival mod. Uh, so this is going back, right back to 2014-15, to recreate the very first Fossil and Archaeology mod with these old plesiosaurs. And if you go back to my first ever dinosaur episodes, I think episode 6 or 7, you will see the original plesiosaurs then. That is a long time, 2015. So I've been testing out this mod uh, for James and we've had a few problems and we see some things are fixed and some things are broke so we're going to get you through it uh, but the point is I wanted to show the new creatures because he's done some new creatures for me which I'm very excited about some new motorsaurs yes I'm so happy uh, and uh, show you talk to you about the new genetics because James wants some feedback so the creatures now uh, have genetics and they will have a lot more genetics. So when you breed them, they will come out differently. They'll come out male, they'll come out female, they'll come out with different traits and different sizes. At the moment, they come out with different sizes. So I will showcase all the creatures after we've gone through uh, some of the breeding, etc. And the idea is you find fossils, you put them in the analyzer, you then create DNA, you put the DNA in the incubator, and then you get eggs, and then you place them on the ground. Uh, and that is simple as that, guys. So if we just go to here, there's a tab. You can see here we've got fossils. Uh, we've got the eggs to place on the ground. And also the water creatures have sacs. And there's the DNA. And then there's that. Also, guys, there's some new wood. Bristlecone pine wood. So there's a new tree somewhere. I haven't seen the sapling. But there's new cobblestone and new bristlecone pine wood, which looks quite nice as well. Right, let's get cracking. Right, guys, we're back. Uh, we did some testing yesterday and a big shout out to James. Uh, he sorted some bugs out and I think now we got it all sorted. So uh, and fully understandable. So you might have noticed we had some big birds yesterday. So these are the oviraptors. Uh, and the Gallimimus and when I spawned some in they came out big now there's a big reason for that guys because there's genetics in this particular one now notice the plesiosaurs that one over there is giant this one's not so big there every time you uh, take an egg and you incubate it and then place it there's a chance of the creature being normal size uh, in terms of baby juvenile and above but also 1.4 times bigger <laughs> than it should be also 1.4 times smaller if i get that correct that's what james was telling me yesterday so absolutely superb uh so anyway guys yesterday none of the eggs were placed and stuff but it's all worked today so let me show you so i'm gonna have to show you how this works anyway so when we go into here uh the idea is that you put the fossil in and it should actually work so the pteranodon fossil with some water goes in there and then what will happen is uh, it might have broken that today this worked yesterday it will then create a dna so uh, we'll just try taking some of these out and we'll put a plesiosaur uh, yeah we'll put that in there it should take a minute but what usually happens when we're testing stuff is it might have broken it the other way uh, so let's have a quick look. Let's get a Krylophosaurus. So let's get one of those. Let's put that in the end. Uh, it should actually work. And it hasn't at the moment. So the idea then is the DNA will come out of the machine. But uh, yeah, but that one seems to be broken. Whereas these have all worked. Uh, so let me take the Velociraptor egg out of there and the bucket and we put a Dryosaurus fossil and we put the milk in and then what will happen is it, it will cook. It will cook uh, and like I did with these, I tried them all. Compi egg, uh, Dryosaurus egg, uh, Tyrannosaurus egg, Oviraptor egg. Oh yeah, the water-based creature like the Mosasaurs have like a sack. In fact, we'll bring that out because we want to use that. Because there's a new Mosasaur, guys, that he fixed yesterday. Uh, so all these have worked with the new add-on. This, 
this is not where it's now, which is interesting. So there's something weird going on. He did put a load of fixes in yesterday. It's not ready for public release, but it nearly is. He's just been playing around with genetics and sizes, which is really cool. So James has been feverishly trying to fix some bugs. The main thing that we had before was these incubators didn't work, but now they work. And i tell you what, they work very well. So every egg that you get out uh, will should be able to be placed but as we said before it doesn't work so we'll use spawn eggs so you should be able to right click and place it on the ground we had that working yesterday when i did a test and it stopped working which is quite funny uh but you can't place the eggs not at all but you can actually take the fresh mosasaur sack and the plesiosaur sack and actually use those and i'll demonstrate it so every time uh you breed something uh whoa interesting textures there interesting textures to say the least oh my god uh yeah when you breed something so i'll put the plesiosaurus in here uh this is the mosasaurus now there are two mosasaurus in this special edition guys and that the mosasaurus is now not working hey there it is so you have to place it on the ground look at the new green mosasaur is that cool or what? And that came out. So will, yes, that will come out. So you have to place it with a block. So you do get small ones. They will grow big. So there's the small. That is brilliant. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll spawn, try some of the spawning in to see how big these creatures are. Because imagine a giant T-Rex. That'll be fun. So you don't know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates and you don't know what you're going to get. So once it's fixed... You put literally Teradoranodon fossil in there and your water bucket and then you get some DNA. And literally this will work, guys, because I've just done it now. Uh, you put the Tyrannosaurus DNA in there. The milk will work straight away. There you go. So Tyrannosaurus DNA works. So these aren't working, but these are. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'll get the spawn eggs out because I want to see some of the sizes of the creatures that we're going to get. Uh, and obviously show you the two different types of mosasaurs because they've been done specially for me so very happy uh, and james is beavering away he's got work as well of course uh and stuff and beavering away and working so let's get the eggs out and we'll show you the creatures or how they look now and look at the different sizes right guys so because he's done two new, I've got, I think I've got three mosasauruses in here let's have a look what we got this is the first one of course that's the blue one. That is super cool, isn't it? I love the pattern of that. And uh, we might bring another one out. Oh, oh, I don't know how big. they are. Look, they are different sizes. So they should, yes, that one over there is bigger than that one. Uh, oh, my God. That's a giant one. So they come out in all different sizes. So it's really interesting. The Mosasaurus, another one. This is the brown one. Wow. Look at that. I'm very happy. So I asked him to put both in because he said, which one do you like? I said, I like them both. I like them both. Let's see one swim. Yeah, there we go. So uh, all new animations for the creatures. All the herbivores have two animations and all the, uh, the carnivores have three. Oh, here's our baby. Here's our baby that we grew before, grown before. And final, this is another Mosasaurus. This is probably the original. No, it's, oh yes, it's a dark green one. Oh, can we have them all three, please? Yes, we like all three. Look at that. Yes, we want all three. That is super cool to have some different colours like that. Uh, yeah, they're really good. I want a little baby one coming out. Right, okay, guys. So, Brachiosaurus. Dun, 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 dun. We'll put the Brachio over here. That'd be interesting, to say the least. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is uh, super cool. Let's have a look at this. That's, that is, oh, I should actually put, if I put them all on the flat, we would probably see different size ones. Uh, they look all the same size to me, but maybe, maybe not. Ankylosaurus is next to these. Oh, wow, that is massive. So that's a big, that's a giant one, that is. Oh. Yeah, they're quite big, aren't they, though? It's quite big, to say the least. Well, that's a smaller one. See, so there you go. You can see the difference in them. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Wow. Carno Taurus. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, look at that skin. I'm sure that's changed. Wow, that Carno Taurus looks nice. What is going on over here? Oh, there's some weird stuff going there. That looks like the Carla Taurus is firing arrows. <laughs> there's another Carla Taurus. Wow. That is nice. There are, since I last showcased this, I'm sure. We, whoa. Yeah. Compies. Let's have a look at the compies. Do we get all the same or all the compies the same? Oh, there's there are Didier. Look, there are some smaller. Yes, look at that. There's the size. So you get different sizes when they come out of the box. I'm not so sure of the giant. Maybe some of the creatures are giant, but they are big, aren't they? The bigger versions of. I haven't seen a big one of the uh those are definitely slightly different. Yeah. Cryophosaurus. Let's have a this. Oh wow. Looks like there's been some texture updates since I last showcased this, or it's just my new graphics cards working wonderfully. Cryosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's quite big, isn't it? They are quite big. I'm not so sure about some of the creatures being giant, but they are giant. It's, it's about the fact the way them... Oh, there's a standard one. Uh, we're not getting many small ones. I think that might need refining a little bit to get smaller ones. But it is bringing back the original. Right, we'll head over here now. So next up, guys, we've got the Demetrodon. <gasps> That's so good. Look at that. So we're not getting too many small ones out of the box at the moment. I would say it probably needs, but you can see the size. The new, the new obviously updates are working. Oh, there's a second one. Is that the? Oh, oh, hold on a second. No, it's just the way the light shines through its fin. That's all right. Uh, Dryosaurus is. Whoa, massive! Oh, fight feet! Go on, eat them, eat them, eat the Dryosauruses. They're massive. Gallimimus, we've already seen those. Oh, look, there's a little one. Little Dryosaurus, like a first little one we've had. Oh, my God. First little one we've had. Right, Gallimimus, we've seen this. Probably that's a bit of a more normal one we've seen before, than before. So I'm not going to put too many of those Gallimimuses out. There's a bigger one. Uh, Oviraptors, again, massive, massive. Yeah, that is a smaller one, but not small enough. Maybe it's weighted the other way. Pachycephalosaurus, this would be big. <laughs> Look at the size of that. A giant Pachycephalosaurus. Oh my God. Plesiosaurs we've seen. They sort of spawn in different sizes. Pteranodons. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look, they're big. They're big. They're big, big. Oh, there's all different sizes there. <laughs> Wow, sir. Uh, Spinosaurus. How big is this going to be? Oh, nice. See, we didn't have these last time, I'm sure. There's been a lot of updates that I didn't know about. Looks pretty good, the Spinosaurus. It'd be good to have a red one as well as a green, bluey one. Oh, very good. Uh, Stego. Stego. Oh, yes, there's the classic green Stego. Right, guys, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dun, 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 dun. This is going to be big. This is going to be a big boy. Nice. I must admit, I'm sure since we last showcased this, the skins have all been updated. I'm sure, uh, James, well, what are you actually thinking of this, guys? James wants some feedback. That's a chunky. The chunky. I really like the style. A lot of people like this style. Oh my god, there's a giant one. There is a giant one. That is massive. Oh my god, it did say 1.4 times. Uh, maybe they're too big. I don't know. What do people think? Triceratops. It's a trike. Let's do this. That's a trike. Oh yes. Nice. Very nice. You can see the skins. They really scale up really well. And last but not least, guys, the scary Velociraptors. Let's see. What do we get here? Oh, we get quite a lot. All the same color. 
Little ones and big ones. It's now got a really good style. I really like it. Oh, you're off, you're off. It's really, really, really good. Yeah, so as I say, looking for some comments, guys, you can go and download the first version already, and I've put the link in the description for you. So you can go and download the original one I showcased and have a play around. Also, he's looking for feedback uh, about this. They do, they should be spawning naturally, uh, but, ooh, something happened there. That didn't. Maybe they do. Maybe they are. They should be spawning naturally as well. Uh, they're dying. Whatever that was over there, they're dying. But there we go. So, uh, it, absolute superb. I really like it a lot. I really love the... I guess it's taking me back to 2014, 15. Yeah, it's a long time ago, guys. Right, thanks, James, for all the work you've done on this. Uh, I'll be looking forward. We'll, when it's ready for public release, I think we'll show it again. Uh but it is really cool, and I do like what's doing. I think my personal feedback is maybe it's too big, and we need to concentrate on some of the smaller versions as well. But that that you know that Spinosaurus needs to be bigger, doesn't it? Uh, I wonder if it, I wonder if it will be bigger actually. Where is the spy the Stego? Let's finish off this. We should be going, but let me just try this. It's not that giant, is it? The spy, the giant spino needs to be as big as that T-Rex. Now that's not that's not the biggest T-Rex, is it? Because we've got the giant one. But it's really cool. Right. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.